My name is John Prusalidis and I am the director of the Laboratory of Marine Engineering of the National Technical University of Athens, in the premises of which we are right now. Marine Engineering is one of the major scientific sectors of the School of Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering, which are ship design, that is to say the theoretical design of the ship, hydrodynamic, which comprises the study of the interaction of the vessel with the sea water, marine engineering, of course, which deals with the study of the main ship propulsion system, the most expensive and critical equipment on board, as well as all service loads, auxiliaries and the associated energy networks, assisting the ship to accomplish her mission. And finally, ship building, which comprises the studies of the materials and methods of constructing a waterborne vessel. Focusing on the, the marine engineering primary objective, this is the analytical study and testing of the coordination between the propulsion engine and the propeller. The premises of the Laboratory of Marine Engineering comprise, among others, a test bed where propulsion engines and other systems can be tested via measuring methods of high accuracy. This is the control room of the test bed, which is soundproof as the noise is pretty annoying when the engines operate beyond, let's say, 110 dBs. Moreover, the experimental results of the system examined in the test bed can be confirmed via theoretical analysis tools too. During the last three decades, the laboratory under the direction of the previous directors Professors Kiptatos and Ioannidis had contributed to the development of propulsion engines which have been used in most ships and has been recognized among the best laboratories of this category worldwide. Furthermore, taking into consideration the modern challenges for decarbonization via alternative fuels and green shipping in general, the laboratory of marine engineering has started being tr properly transformed. Within this context, testing equipment for electric propulsion and hybrid electric propulsion systems have been integrated, while a new engine using methanol as a fuel has been installed.